For over 10 years, we at K15T have seen all sorts of really great tools for documentation. Like seriously, we are major content management nerds. But you might be surprised to hear the tool that we've actually been using for the last 10 years for our user documentation. It's Confluence. Yeah, that wiki tool, that collaboration tool, we've been using Confluence to create really great documentation together. Why? Well, it's not just because Confluence is so simple to use, it's also like packed with features. and. It's built for teams, which we found is really important. The best documentation is built by an entire team, which is why you need to have contributions from your tech writers and project managers and engineers and support people. And that's why we love Confluence. It's so easy for everybody to contribute in that it's allowed us to create the best and most accurate documentation for our users. We have discovered a lot of best practices for how to use it the right way for documentation. And we found that there are some core features in Confluence, as well as some apps that we and others have made that turn it into a true tech writing platform. Confluence is really made for modern teams. You know, the ones that are spread out and working across different time zones. It's a web app, so you can access it from any computer or any mobile device you want. It's really simple to use. It's built from the ground up for collaboration. That's not an afterthought. And it just gets better with apps. So let me show you what I mean. Data and markup based solutions can be awesome. No doubt, no doubt. But they can be really tedious as well. Between implementation time and cost, the extensive configuration and customization you have to do, and then the maintenance of those systems. And just, you know, the fact that it's hard to use a lot of those editors can really make those home baked approaches really, really burdensome on the team over time. Whereas Confluence has a really, really intuitive editor. Like if you've used Google Docs or Word, you can use Confluence right away. And it helps your team get started quickly with very little training. You can also add things like images or tables or lists and many other types of media really, really simply. And because it's just a big blank canvas, anybody on the team can get together collaboratively and work on content together. You can even choose page templates to get started from. So you can create custom documentation templates to get your team going so they don't have to start with a blank white page. Confluence was built for collaboration. It's not an extra feature. It's the heart of the thing. And that means your team can create documentation as quickly as the ideas come to them. Everyone can create spaces full of pages that have all of your content in them. And this makes your content searchable to everybody in all of Confluence. We have a video all on how to name your pages so that people can find them really, really easily. Multiple team members can work on the same page at the same time using the collaborative editor. So while one person writes a new section, the other person can be reviewing the content. It's really, really fast. Once your content is ready, you can share it with your teammates really quickly to get their feedback. We have a whole video on just how to do this. You'll get a notification when your teammates have mentioned you and that's your cue to get the feedback conversation going. Check out our other video all about how to get and give really great feedback using comments. Remember how I said you can add apps to Confluence? It's just like when you get a new phone. It has a lot of things it can do, but maybe not in the best way for you. But then you can get more apps that really supercharge it to do exactly what it is you want to do. Confluence is the same way. You can use the Atlassian Marketplace to find hundreds of apps that enable all sorts of new functionality in Confluence for your team. For example, there are some great diagramming apps that you can use to create, edit, and manage diagrams directly in Confluence or apps that let you do version control on all the content that you've created in Confluence. There's even an app that lets you publish your Confluence content as an online help center for your users. You can do all this stuff from almost anywhere with almost any device. And these are just a few of the things that we love about Confluence. It's simple, but it's super powerful. Collaboration is baked in so we can work as teams to create amazing documentation. And of course, we can use apps to extend the functionality of Confluence to make it do exactly what we want it to do. But these are just a few of the things that you can do with Confluence. And at K15T, we are so curious to explore those. So hit the subscribe button and join us as we continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.